The tropical shallow Indo-Pacific waters off northern Australia, southern New Guinea, as well as numerous islands of the Indonesia, Philippines, and Malaysia are well known for the beautiful coral reefs. These are some of the most diverse ecosystems in the world. Because of the diversity of life found in the habitats created by corals, reefs are often called the rainforests of the sea. About 25% of the ocean's fish depend on healthy coral reefs. Fishes and other organisms shelter, find food, reproduce, and rear their young in the many nooks and crannies formed by corals. Along these reefs, there is a creature that is hard to identify at first glance. This is the flamboyant cuttlefish. Cuttlefishes have a specialized hollow feature called a cuddle bone that helps the animal maintain buoyancy by adjusting the levels of gas and liquid in its chambers. But this guy, as he grows up to 8 centimeters only, his cuddle bone is relatively small, allowing him to float and swim for very short amounts of time. Instead, he walks along the ocean floor using his arms. Walking for this guy is not your typical walk. This is the reason why the flamboyant cuttlefish is known as the flamenco dancer of the cuttlefish world. Or perhaps it is the party itself. It can undergo incredible color changes possible due to three types of structures contained within its skin, called chromatophores, leucophores, and iridophores. These are small structures filled with colored ink which can be rapidly expanded and contracted to communicate or are used as camouflage within its habitat. These structures allow the cuttlefish to rapidly reflect a myriad of colors and change the textures of their skin. Such ability allows it to create a vibrant display of flashing colors. This display acts as a warning to predators and also to attract prey as these guys are actively hunting during the day, unlike most other cephalopods that are nocturnal. This warning is not just a warning. As a matter of fact, flamboyant cuttlefishes are highly poisonous. The toxin is as lethal as that of blue-ringed octopuses, 
a thousand times more powerful than cyanide. One milligram of it can kill a human. This display of flashing colors also occurs when these guys are trying to mate. Mating occurs with the male using his hectocotylus to insert a packet of sperm into a pouch on the underside of the female's mantle. fertilizes her eggs with sperm from the packet. The eggs are laid singly and placed by the female in protective crevices or under ledges in coral, rock or wood. The female dies shortly hereafter. Freshly laid eggs are white and slowly turn translucent with time, making the baby cuttlefish clearly visible. From birth, the juveniles are capable of the same color and camouflage patterns as their parents.